Coming up next, it's a UFC bantamweight division fight. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here is a man who is ubiquitously regarded as the greatest bantamweight of all time. He'll tell you he built this division, and <laughs> DC, I know he's not here to pick a fight with you right now, but... This legacy of Dominic Cruz is really exceptional. It is unbelievable what Dominic Cruz has accomplished over the course of his career. Not a guy that people thought would go down in history as one of the greatest bantamweights of all time. He's not a guy that has a laundry list of accomplishments before he got to mixed martial arts. But he's a guy that is unmatched in his preparation and a guy that has a will and a desire to win that no one, and I say no one, can match. So from the commentary table where Dom's constantly yelling at me, right. to in the octagon, Dominic Cruz wants to be the winner. And injury-wise, no fighter has dealt with more adversity than Dominic Cruz, who still believes at one point or another before his career said and done, he will be belted yet again. All right, so here's the former UFC and WEC Bantamweight champion, Dominic Cruz. Most people believe, DC, this is the best 135-pound fighter of all time. Injuries have been a big part of the narrative. Missed all of 2012, all of 2013, 15, 17, and 18. Nice to see Cruz making the walk here tonight. Yes, and, and as a fan of the sport, you're always excited when Dominic is not dealing with all those injuries and all these setbacks. Could you imagine what the career of Dominic Cruz would be if he was able to compete as often and as frequently as a lot of the fighters in the UFC? Just a one-of-a-kind talent, unmatched in his preparation, footwork that no one else can ever replicate. Dominic Cruz truly belongs atop the leaderboard at the tip of your tongue when you're talking about the greatest fighters of all time. For my money, the smartest man in mixed martial arts right now, but it's his ability to apply that fight IQ on fight night that really sets him apart. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, four losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Wilburn, Massachusetts, Rob Fox! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 23 wins, four losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, Dominic the Dominator Cruz. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Good stick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, Cruz is inimitable footwork on full display here tonight. A lot of people don't realize just how much discipline and hard work it takes to be able to make it look this easy. Big kick land. All 
Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Leg kick. Oh, big punch land. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Goes to the body there. There's no tell on that leg kick. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really oh. knocking the head back. He's got him hurt here. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, he might have got it with a choke. Wow. Oh, right to the mount. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Close guard. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Slips the punch. Oh, nice. So we pull up the numbers for you here. How about this, DC? 34 total strikes have now landed for Dominic Cruz. Liver kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Punch coming, it's blocked. Just missing on the high kick there. And they separate. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed this kick with so much force. That's a big strike right there. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent. He's walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really... The dominator. ...to change the fight. Another takedown land. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. Oh, 
All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's going to be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was always something different, but it always led to his opponent getting great top position. Ooh, blocks the shot. Cruz gets hit with a kick. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Great punch, lands with so much power. That strike blocked by Cruz. Look at him chopping the wood. Chops the wood with those legs. Sage work here defensively. Double leg takedown, no good. And they set it. Nice straight punch. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's pitch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, buckle them there. Beautiful shot to the body. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Beautiful strike. Right hand on point. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Blocks that strike. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Ooh, what a punch. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. How about that shin? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, that right hand is on point. Just misses with the jab. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Oh, straight right. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Bleeding from his cheek now. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Oh, beautiful front kick to split the guard there. A lot of times that kick was used to man the space, but this guy's throwing it to damage. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! Oh, he might be out. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee to the body! Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. He throws every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Another shot lands upstairs. Another strike to the head lands. Superman punch now. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. 
Nice punch lands over the top. Round three next. Right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I mean, those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! And there's that elbow blocked by Cruz. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice move punch. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Single collar tie here. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. He's landing all those strikes to the head. He's very active, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice. 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 Oh! Look at the torso on the... Whoa! Oh! Oh! My God. He's got him hurt here. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacked. Oh, he didn't like that left hand. He's got him right here. Oh! Oh, look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. Beautiful movement. Hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. <laughs> Not tapping out tonight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you wanna be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very deep. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Dominic Cruz. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Whoa! Dude, hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here.
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. He blocks the punch. Final 10 seconds of the fight. What else can you say but what a fight? Official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29 27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Ron All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly that tonight, and he gets a dominant decision.